Hello, welcome to another Android App Warrior video review. Today we're looking at a app called MyCast Weather. Uh, this is MyCast Weather Lite. The only differences between this and the full paid app, which is $3.99, is that it has advertisements and there's a couple small features that are different. For example, the paid version has a radar widget you can put onto your home screens. Um, this is a pretty cool weather app. I've looked at a lot of weather apps, and frankly, a lot of them are shit. Uh, the problem with a lot of them is that you often get apps which are just radar and nothing but that. It's very difficult, unless you're actually a meteorologist, to figure out what is going on this, uh, by looking at a radar. I also checked out some of the apps you th would might have thought would be really good, like the Weather Channel app, but that thing kept crashing on my uh, on my Thunderbolt here. So I ended up trying this out, and so far this is definitely my favorite weather app. So let me show you what I like about this. Um, the first thing I like about it is it has a lot of different features. We have current weather conditions, forecast maps which will give you radar information and alerts. So this basically this covers all of your bases as far as the features you really would want in a weather app. When you go to these individual uh, icons you actually do get a fair amount of information as well. So when I get my uh, temperature information I can see a little graph of where the temperature has been recently. Uh, the wind information again it's been high and then it went down up a little bit and then down. And you just get a history of all these different things. Uh, you get things like UV index and even sunrise sunset. Now you can, this is this is kind of a neat little thing, you can just drag that up much as you would the uh, Android notification bar from the top to provide a different way of navigating. And from here you can go to daily forecast. Uh, which provides a fair amount of information as well. You can also pick these different graphs to show information and also you can get uh, hourly information for your current day. Alerts. Now there's no severe weather alerts where I'm at but if you were to have a severe weather alert it would show up here and this can be very very useful. Uh, obviously we had a lot of storms recently in the American Southeast and Midwest and these sort of alerts, I mean, theoretically they can be lifesavers. I, you can't walk around with a no weather radio everywhere and uh, you have to rely on your phone then to get critical weather information if, if there's a dangerous situation rolling in. And finally we have radar. So as you can see, I, I don't have this actually set up for my location either. I'm just uh, using the default location. But, as you can see, you have a pretty good radar app. It's quick, it provides fairly detailed information. It's not quite as good as some of them that rely on Google Maps. Although some of those that rely on Google Maps feel a little slow, in my opinion. So this does do a pretty decent job, and you can also get some weather history, although the time span on the updates tends to make it a little less useful than you might expect. So. MyCast, Weather, Light, obviously free, ad supported. If you want to get rid of the ads and add a few other features like the radar widget that you can put on your home screens, it's $3.99. Probably worth it if you just want to try and support a great app or if you really want that uh, radar widget to go on your home screen. So definitely check this one out and consider picking it up for the four bucks if you really like it.